to have abandoned. I'm coming out. Send coming. Out. <laughs> what, what can you do? Okay. That's it, Giles, thank you. Can you can relax. Thank you. We're back in bed. It's very comfortable. You can go and have a lie down. We're going into a film if you want, Anthony. It's entirely up to you. But uh, anyway, the, uh, the salmon fishing season is in full swing on the River Tay in Scotland, and <laughs> anglers will be trying everything to land the biggest fish of the year. Yes, but as Martel Maxwell finds out, some of them might as well just give up now. Angling is one of the UK's most popular pastimes. But what might surprise you is that some of the biggest salmon ever caught were actually caught by women. So I've come to one of the most famous fishing rivers in the world. I've got my rod, I've got my wellies. Now all I need is a fish. Today I've come to Dunkeld in Perthshire for the official opening of the salmon season on the River Tay. This stretch of the river is very close to the scene where Georgina Ballantyne landed the largest ever rod-caught salmon in 1922. Women make up the minority in fishing, but they still hold the records, for example, with the biggest salmon. Why do you think that is? I think women have a certain level of patience, perhaps, that uh, men, men expect to be good straight away. Women are, are willing to be taught, and I think women have great intuition. Well, it's time I gave this a go for myself. Jane Wright is an angler who was awarded an MBE for services to fishing. And who better to get a few tips from? Remember to let, that's it, that's straight out, you see. Mm -hmm. and let the line go next time. OK, I'll do it again. Most big salmon caught are male or cockfish, so some say it's the smell of a woman's pheromones that attracts them. This theory about the pheromones, it wasn't made up by a fisherman who was trying to make excuses for women being good. It was by a, a, a scientist. It was. It was by a professor of neurology in Glasgow. Have you ever heard the tales about men tying the flies with their wife's hair just to get pheromones? Do you, do you, what do you think? Have you ever heard of that? I have heard of it and I believe it works. And I think ginger ones work best. <laughs> I'm in luck! But it's not totally uh, conclusive, I would say. I love it. <laughs> Believe me, when that theory came out, there were people trying everything. I've tried peeing in rivers, and that doesn't work. You've tried peeing in rivers? You've got no idea what they tried. So, clearly, men sometimes take it seriously if they're willing to tie their flies with women's Men would hair. do anything to catch a fish, honestly. Yeah. I think if, if they could, they'd tie a woman onto the end. <laughs> Maybe my pheromones are having an off day. But it looks like at least one person has had a tight line today. I haven't actually caught a fish, but I have to admit, I am kind of hooked. 